Hey guys, welcome back to... Actually, not welcome back. I think this is the first discussion video I've done on this channel. I'm with Skatem. Hello. And this is going to be strictly audio. Of course, I just have a visual Minecraft world if you need something on your screen to stare at. But this is intended to be podcast-oriented, so you can do something else while you listen to this, whether it's walk around or play a game. But we wanted to give our thoughts on what, Skatem? Uh, the Nintendo Switch presentation that aired, I guess... Technically, yesterday, now it's 12, 14 a.m. in the morning in North America. Yes, January 13th. We just finished watching it a few minutes ago. And we wanted to give our thoughts. Um, this is something I've always wanted to do on the channel because I always want to talk about my opinions. Because Nintendo, uh, Skatem mostly as well, but I'm, I'm a little bit more of a fanboy of Nintendo than Skatem Definitely, is, but you are, you are. I, I, I really like their stuff, but you're a full-out fanboy. Yeah, I'm, I'm a full-out fanboy, and I've been that way since I've, you know, I've had the Super Nintendo, so, but specifically after I got the DS, or after I got the GameCube, uh, was I really became a Nintendo fanboy. And I think you guys on the channel know that. Most of my Let's Plays have been, of, of outside of Minecraft, have been Nintendo-oriented, so... Um, before we talk about what happened, I, you don't, have you been following, I don't believe you followed very much about the Switch, have you? Yeah, I haven't followed too much. I, I've gotten a little bit of update, but I've really just been waiting for this and more of getting secondhand stuff through you. <laughs> yeah, so I haven't been devoted to it like some people have, or, you know, I didn't pay attention to the rumors. I didn't, you know, go all over the place. Really, I just knew it was coming. Um, I got very disappointed at E3 when I heard it was just going to be Breath of the Wild, so I didn't really pay attention to Nintendo for a while. And then in the fall, I heard they launched that trailer, and I, I watched, you guys can see my subscriptions, I think, and you know I watched the bit block, and I like a lot of their videos, and Josh Thomas, I always resonate with his opinions very well on how Nintendo's been doing. So, you know, I paid attention to anything he said and he knew, which was just the big stuff, um, and a lot of speculation with uh, with him is, is kind of all the stuff I knew. So I really didn't know that much either. Both of us pretty much went into this blind about what to expect of the Wii, of, of the Switch, other than watching that trailer they released a couple months ago, right? Yes, the, the tra I watched the trailer, um, but that was that was about it. I saw a few things on YouTube, um, but not really. I mean, as I said, you were way more into this uh, than I am. Yeah, so... Yeah, I really only knew about Zelda. So I, I told him... Like, you know, I was like, hey, guys, watch this with me. Let's see what this is all about. Um, and Skatem and I watched it both. You know, we were hanging out here on Discord. Uh, we were the only two that joined, but we wanted to kind of talk a little bit about it. So we're going to start first with the general stuff, um, our, in, our opinions yeah. and impressions of just the system in general. Uh, if you, I guess we can just start with pricing, launch date, and yeah. everything that it comes with. Let's go with a quick overview in case you didn't watch the whole thing. Um, it's coming out on March 3rd, 2017, so this spring. Um, in America, it's going to be $299. Which I personally thought it was going to be uh, $250, $249.99, which was the price of the Wii U, I believe, at launch, or at least one of the – what you can get it for now, um, and which was the price of the – uh, 3DS, and I think the Wii as well. What I paid for all three of those systems at least was two forty nine ninety nine, and I, I was thinking that was going to be it, but I can tolerate two ninety nine nine. I wouldn't have been able to tolerate three fifty or three twenty five, you know, like or anything higher equivalent to what some of the other systems have launched at. But I don't know if you yeah. think that's too much or not. Yeah, I think it's um, fair and reasonable. I mean, it comes with a lot of hardware, which we'll get into, um, and I definitely think the hardware is top notch. It seems really cool. Yeah, so it comes with, I guess, you know, part of that price is it comes with the little handheld, not the Pro Controller, but almost equivalent to that with the little jo John, what are they called? Joy-Con. Joy-Cons, Joy -Cons. yeah. Those little things on the side. Um, so it came with those that can be used on the controller individually, it came with the TV stuff. Um, I'm very excited that it uses Type-C to charge, which means it'll charge very quick. That's uh, so what my phone yes. uses for the fast charging. So glad to see they got rid of their little adapters. Yeah, so it has a system, and it has the system that you place it in the thing that goes an HDMI cord, which it comes with, straight to the TV, and you can set the switch in that and play on the TV. You can take the switch out of that to go and take the two Joy-Con controllers, so it comes with two of those, and those plug into that or plug into a handheld controller. There's also the Pro Controller, which is very similar to what um, the old controllers are like, that more attuned to the GameCube style. Um, that does not come with it, though. Um, the Joy-Con controllers themselves are also often used D 
detaching from the switch in certain games, um, and those can also be played two player. Both of them have an L and R button. Both of them have all the controls on each one, uh, but they come with some really cool properties, which they talked about. Which one of them was just the whole gyroscope and accelerometer in those? Yes, that was really cool. It looked like they overhauled that. Yes, the HD, uh, you know, uh, rumble thing. Uh, yeah, looked very cool. Rumble. How they, they talked about Go ice, ahead. like it felt like ice or pouring water in it. So it seems like instead of just being the normal shake that you get on a controller, there can be different types of shake. And also it sounds like you can feel something clinking in there. And I think that's going to be great in some games if they implement that creatively. Yeah, so when I was watching that first part, um, I got very excited. Uh, I was looked really excited. I like the capture button. It is you don't need this, a game to capture it for you. You can and they kind of have that now with Miiverse, but Miiverse is garbage. So I like how you can just press a button and probably will save to the system or to an SD card. Although I don't know if we have know if it has an SD card slot or what sort of memory storage the system has on it. We don't know that yet. Um, you know I don't know how the internal storage. They didn't mention anything, so maybe it has like you know how cheap storage is now. It might just have like a terabyte hard drive in it for all we know. You know, it'd be pretty easy to yeah, put they that didn't in talk cheap. About storage at all. They didn't talk about um, are the games discs or cards? Yeah, so we did not rumors, get any of that. Rumors so far and the patents and basically what the community has come up, come on now was cartridges. They're bringing back, they're going to be like little, you know, kind of in between N64 cartridges and 3DS cartridges. Somewhere in between, that's how the games are going to play. Um, that's what I've heard. But again, they didn't talk about that with the disc drive. When we saw it, it, I didn't see like it had a disk drive on it, so it looked like there's probably a cartridge that pops into it, um, which which then makes me question uh, Wii U. I guess you know Nintendo's kept a pretty good trade of their sister current system. Being, yeah, the backwards compatibility with it, like yeah, like even with a little hacking, you can use the Wii U back with GameCube, um, and everything's been backwards compatible. But I didn't get that impression on this one. Yeah, and I mentioned me, we've got some updates with some rumors about that they're going to have a downloadable library for GameCube games, for Wii games and stuff. Maybe they'll do that with, like, Wii U. You can download your old games or somehow put them on the system without yes. having to put the game in. But I mean, we got no information about that in this release. Yeah, like, so far in the past, you know, you could move DS or 3DS or DSi digital games to the 3DS. You could move your Wii games, your digital games to the Wii U. Um, I'm kind of fine if they draw they I mean, have to draw a line at some point with backwards compatibility it's like just keep your old system and play your old system you know um yeah. so i understand they drawing a line at some point um so if they drew the line you know the 3ds was a great system so i don't mind if they draw the line with the 3ds saying like you know whatever happens with the switch after on as far as being portable it's not going to have any relatability to the 3ds so you know i have to keep the 3ds to play everything else but I'd be a little disappointed if the Switch didn't at least play Wii U, just because the Wii U sold so poorly, but there were still people like me who did buy it, and, you know, there were some great games that did come out on it, so if that didn't really work, that would kind of, you know, I'd I'd kind of not be happy if I had to keep my Wii U and my Switch, because they're both kind of similar, so I guess that's my thing. I wouldn't mind if I kept the Wii and the Switch, but the Switch and the Wii U both, like, next to my TV, I'd kind of be like, eh, to that. Yeah, but... and in, in the past, too, it's been, like... The console are not compatible with the handheld, but this is becoming more of a console and a handheld, which is a really cool concept. Um, yeah, but I'm not expecting it to have like the 3DS or DS compatible. But I agree with you on the whole. Hopefully, it can com be compatible with Wii U. Yeah. So that I mean that that's my only couple questions is memory storage and you know how do we do external memory? Um, maybe do we plug in hard drives like in the Wii U, or is it also like the Wii U and Wii where you have an SD card? Uh, so just question that and if it's using disks and any sort of backwards compatibility. But um, I guess before we get to the games, we'll jump yeah, to a... what they mentioned about the – or you go ahead first. What were you yeah, saying? Yeah, there's a couple more things to mention at the very beginning. Um, one thing we forgot to talk about, the controller said it has that an upgrade from the Wii um, instead of like the infrared or whatever it did to connect with the TV. It now has a vision sensor that can detect between rock, paper, and scissors, see how far away your hand is, and do some cool stuff like that. So they might implement stuff like that. Uh, some sort of um, games can implement that feature, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, also, just an overview of all the hardware. That seems really cool. I'm blown away, and I really like what they did with the hardware. 
Um, all the ideas seem really cool. They implemented like the best of everything from the technology used before and implemented so many new stuff. Um, the har the hardware aspect of it, I think, is phenomenal. Do you agree? Uh, say that again? Just the whole hardware with the Switch and the yeah. Joy-Cons and everything. Yeah. I think that's... Like I that. guess my only concern about the system hardware and controls that I have um, outside of really compatibility, but that's not a big deal, is the Joy-Cons being a little small. Um, yes. Yeah. So oh, yes. They looked fine, uh, but some people looked like they had big hands and it looked very tiny. Especially, you know, it looks fine when it's together, but if you're holding just one plain multiplayer, like if you and I were over on one screen using just one Joy-Con, it looked a little tiny to hold sideways and play. Now, if you just hold it in your hand kind of as a sensor, like in the 1-2 Switch game or whatever those look like it's fine that it's like that but anything else it looked like it'd be rather uncomfortable to play it that small so that was my only concern about the size of those yes i agree i, f I forgot about that and it also did say that it came with these like strips that go around your hand and that makes it a little bit bigger but it still definitely looks the joy con itself looks small um and small to your hand and that'll be hard to play sideways so when you're gripping it in like a if you make your hand into a thumbs up and put the switch into there it seems fitting um, so, you know, everything two, about that, I was excited when we got up to that, so keep going. Yeah, and then there's two things I mentioned at the beginning. One, they removed region lock. Yes, which I think it's, I don't know why it took them so long to do that. Like, why do they still need a region lock? Like, if I, when I get, if I, on my 3DS, I'm pretty sure I can change the language to something else. So I don't know why they didn't just let you do that at the start, and that's decided how it is. And, you know, if, especially with internet ordering and internet shopping you would thought that even back with like the 3ds launch or the wii u um that you could just buy a general one and then yeah a japanese game may not be translated to english and may not be sold in gamestop or target but if you go online you could buy it and play it if you wanted to actually play that game um it seems very silly man that you still have to you know properly release it in each region so i'm very excited they got rid of that because there are a few games usually that are a few gems hidden japanese gems that never make it overseas um, some even make it to Europe and not to America, so or vice versa. So it's going to be kind of nice to see that, I guess. Um, yeah, they're finally making it universal, which is wonderful. The other thing, too, uh, is that the online, you're going to have a free trial feature, but then it's going to be a paid subscription like you've seen with Xbox, Xbox One, and PlayStation. Uh, so, uh, sorry, say that one more time? <laughs> Drop that on me. The, yeah, the um, so that's really cool. But also, the you're gonna have a trial with the online feature, but then it's gonna be paid online, like Xbox, Xbox One, PS4. You're gonna have to pay for the online service and pay for multiplayer. Yeah. So, okay, that really upsets me. <laughs> um, I I guess it's just going to be free at first for everybody, no matter when you've been your system. They're just not going to in, innate like enlist the paying fees until the until the fall. Um, yes, Nintendo can really do that with any lashback because PlayStation and Xbox do that. Um, but I am totally against that. There's a reason why I don't have those systems and play online. Um, I have paid three hundred dollars for the system. I have probably paid sixty or seventy dollars for the game, and I pay. $70 a month for my Blast Xfinity internet. Why do I need to play, pay some other ridiculous fee every single month to play what to play the thing that I paid for, the system and the game to play on an internet service that I've already paid for just so Nintendo can play their servers. That that I don't want to give Nintendo more money for that. That really upsets me. And that is going to definitely hold me back from playing online. I mean, I'm not the biggest online gamer other than on the couple PC games I play with you. Um, I'm big into single player, single player story mode stuff, but if they make a new Animal Crossing for this and I have to pay a monthly fee to go visit other people's town, that is asinine. Like that well, is... yeah, here's the, the problem, especially with Nintendo games. Nintendo games have been featured, have been, normally, they're not online games for the most part. Super they're Mario's not centered player. online. That is, they're, they're not centered. Now, they've added more features because that's becoming the big thing. You want to play with other people. So you're not online centered, but Animal Crossing, it has like, oh, this feature that you go and visit other towns. You would pay for those things. Uh, you, you would pay for the servers when the game is completely centered on yeah, that. Like Call of Duty, they'll need a much instance. more big server, like Call of Duty, for example. Yes. Even though you still have now, to pay $60 for that game, which is, you know, but... Yeah, so Nintendo games have been focused on single 
single player primarily. Now, I guess with or them multiplayer up to third together titles, in the same room. Yes, yes, in the same room. So now that they're opening up to more tiles, Skyrim. Um, well, that's a single player game. That was a bad example. But when they're opening up to more tiles, there's probably going to be more um, over server games and also more of the more features on Nintendo games to play with other people online. Uh, but yeah, that that irks me too. I I agree completely that I don't have to pay for that. Um, yeah, I, I already Especially spent so Nintendo much money game. into everything, and for a Nintendo game, exactly. Um, so it's not going to be the big feature of the game, it's going to be a part Exactly, of it. and we don't have the details on this yet, um, we don't know if it's, you know, you know, so much internet time, or you pay for certain games, or if just in general, to have your Nintendo Switch connected to the internet for multiplayer, it's just a flat out, like, $10 a month, no matter how much you play, or which games you play, we're not sure how it's structured yet, they, they yeah, said they're going to announce that later, probably in the summer, um, so, it'll be a flat fee, but we don't be, know. If it's not a flat fee, then I am going to boycott that like you wouldn't believe, because that will be ridiculous if they're trying to do that much money. But we, we won't talk too much about this because we don't know the details. I just wanted to make it very clear that I am not happy about that, and that definitely depressed me when I heard that. Yeah, I think that's um, all I have for that. Let's see. Um, do I have anything else written down as far as the system? Oh, I was excited to say that they're keeping Amiibo around. Some people did speculate that they might just kind of drop that because it really wasn't successful anymore and they sold enough. Uh, but glad to see they're going to keep that around. It looks like some games are going to have it. Let's hope they continue to make it more useful like they did in New Leaf and a few other games. Uh, I see a picture here that just came up on my Twitter. By the way, that's why I've got this disconnected because I'm on Twitter as well. Uh, keeping up with a few things here, which I will, I'll bring up a couple things I just learned about the games. Uh, but there's, you know, looks like there's five or six Zelda Amiibo launching. Um, but we'll we'll see. Um, I guess they're keeping that, which is fine. I did I do have some Amiibo, so glad to see they kept that. But I know Mitch doesn't care about that. So uh, on to the games, <laughs> I guess. Yes. So um, launch yeah, games. Uh, well, they're. Uh, Looks like there's two, I think, <laughs> two launch games. I think uh, two. <laughs> yeah, Breath of the Wild, Zelda, the Zelda Le- Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which was delayed once already, was basically guaranteed to be a launch game because it was delayed until March or spring 2017. Um, we didn't see anything about it also launching on the Wii U, or if it, it, they said it was going to also launch on that. So whether it's launching still on Wii U, they might have just canceled that, or if it's going to launch on side at the same time or at a later date. Don't know about that, but that's coming uh, March 3rd. So for the die-hard, must-have right now Nintendo fans, that has already sold their Nintendo Switch on launch day because they want that game. Um, I think, the, what, the 1-2 Switch? They Nintendo like announced two party games. Uh, the 1-2 Switch, though, is we I believe is going to be a launch game. Yeah, I According think to Twitter so. as well, it's a launch game. I don't know if it was explicit in the presentation, but it seems like it, it is was implied game. It in the game. presentation. I yeah. believe. So, two games, um, none of which are bundled with the system. Yeah, you would think the one to switch because it doesn't look like a whole game. I would not pay sixty dollars for that. Exactly. Um, that should be like installed on the system when you get it. You know. Yeah. Uh, it seems like a. Like the fun little like when they put Wii Sports or whatever in there, and just it's a game that features all the new things you can do with the Switch. And it'll be fun. It'll be a cool party game. Uh, weird that you can only play with. It seems mostly focused on two people. At least that's what the impression that we got. We don't really know. Um, I mean, it seemed interesting. It was a lot of games where you're not focused on the actual screen. You're looking at the other person and doing motions with them on a bunch of different mini games. Yeah, so that's the launch. That's pretty freaking horrible. Um, I should drop a few profanities in there to also to explicitly say how horrible that is. Um, I have no idea what Nintendo was thinking. The entire time we watched it, it was, uh, this will launch later in the spring, and this will launch in the summer, and this will launch holiday season, and all these other ones are just going to launch sometime soon. This, as far as I'm concerned, has been in the works, this system, for a very long time. A very long time, like years, this has been, you know, being developed. And Wii U has been declared dead for a couple of years, uh, with 3DS not getting any new content other than ports and updates for a year or two. 
So I don't know what all these game companies and all these teams inside Nintendo have been working on. I don't know. What have they been working on through all of this time? This is... We saw... So those two games are launches. That other little cheesy game that looked like it should have also been a launch with 1-2-Switch is coming out later in the spring. ARMS. ARMS. I don't know why that's not a launch title. Um, it looked... I mean, obviously it's not ready because it would be a launch title, like, but it looked just as ready as 1-2-Switch. Um, Splatoon it's 2 It's a, like, is, fighting game of some sort with, like, fighting and you have long arms and you're battling somebody else. Yeah. So, Splatoon 2. Um, Splatoon is, was a great game. I was just never really into it. I have it. I've played it a couple times. That's it. Honestly, it came bundled with my system. Um, I'm yeah, happy I feel to the see same way. that I've it's... played it a couple times. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm happy I mean, it, to... it seems like it's popular. Other people like it, so... Um, yeah. If that's cool for you, that's coming out, not at launch, but probably soon after? Yeah, I'm happy to see that it's uh, Splatoon 2. Uh, I was a little worried it was just going to be the original Splatoon ported over to it, but then they just added all the D- DLC and some new items and maps and, you know, say, hey, here's Splatoon, Splatoon, you know, Deluxe or whatever. But I'm happy to see it's different, so it's, hopefully it's going to have, like, a brand new... Because the original one did have a single-player story mode in it. They're going to add a new one of that. They'll just have new uh, new maps, new stuff. So um, it's a, that's a big online game. It's That game is fun, comes from the online and multiplayer version. So, but, uh, Which you'll you know, have to pay for. It's kind of sad to see that coming for the summer. Because you know, even just on the graphics, it looked like it'd be pretty easy to bring that from Wii U. I mean, obviously, I'm not a game developer. But uh, Platoon's been out for a while now. so I, you know, but, but summer isn't terrible. That game was never front and center. Um, and I don't know if having that at launch with Zelda would really sell, you know? There's yeah, problem. everybody would, like, buy Zelda and play Zelda, and then that's exactly. the cool enough after. But you, I mean, that's my biggest irk with the whole thing. It should be, have, like, at least five, maybe yeah. three, like, big-name games that are coming out that you want to buy. Because maybe some people don't want to play Zelda, but they're really like Mario Kart or something. You don't yeah. want just one game with your new system. You want to have two or three. Yeah, and I mean, you remember 3DS. I bought it on launch day. You you waited uh, because there was no games. Uh, there was Steel Diver. Like, who the crap cares about that? There was Nintendogs plus Cats, which a very specific audience liked from the DS that maybe made a, may, maybe made them buy it. Uh, and then there was Pilot, Pilot Wings. Wings. Which but was Pilot cool. Wings was, That's the one I got. It was cool. That's the one I got, too. But... I beat it like the first day I had the system. I played it for like three or four hours the first day I got the system, and I beat like the game. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a very short, like small game. game. Um, and you could tell that that was made in like the six months before the launch. Uh, you know, not not exactly that, but it it was a very disappointing launch. And the Nintendo 3DS sales dragged until they launched Mario Kart, Animal Crossing, freaking forever. They launched the eShop, like they didn't have that at launch. Um, and then Wii U didn't have very much impressive. It had a good lineup of games, but they were like a couple months to six months after the launch of the Wii U. Um, and yeah, and I think this looks to be the same. Yeah, they're just going to repeat the same mistakes they had before. Like, you're not going to buy the system unless you have a couple of games you want from. Exactly. This, um, the games are what sell the system, especially at launch. Um, I guess. You know, I just get the impression that they are going to... They're releasing this now with Zelda to make the hardcore fans happy and entertained, but they really don't plan on selling this system until Christmas time. You know? Yeah. Um, so, the other game we saw was Mario Kart, and scrolling Twitter, Nintendo has announced a little bit more to that that I can share if you'd like to know. It's a little disappointing... Uh, so Mario Kart is going to launch on April 28th, so later in the spring. I don't know why having one extra month helps. I guess it's almost two months. Um, you think that they could have rushed to make that a launch or just made the Switch uh, the Switch launch like March 28th or something, the end of March, and then have that be a launch game as well. Because um, that, that's a pretty big game, and that'll just be another one to throw in there. So you're, you'll exactly two launch titles instead of... But this is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So Mario Kart 8 was for the Wii U. Um, this appears to just be a port of Mario Kart 8 from the Wii U. Um, and 
it appears that it's got two things, as we saw in the trailer, a battle, a better battle mode with battle maps instead of just driving around the course, which is something that that game lacked. Um, I'm trying to watch the trailer here and see if it's just the same courses or if these are actual battle uh, courses or if these, yeah, these look like battle courses. So it looks like they, they it's going to be Mario Kart 8 ported with a battle mode that's proper, which was dumb that that game didn't have it. Um, and it may have new, oh, it's got a Splatoon course. It may include the DLC that Mario Kart 8 had. Mario Kart had that Zelda and Animal Crossing DLC. It may have those as well in the port. I'd imagine so, if they're going to call it Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, as someone that owns Mario Kart 8 right now, I'm not going to buy it for the Switch. I don't think for full price, because I have it for full price. Well, I didn't actually get it for full price. Okay, yeah, it has the DLC in it. So Mario Kart 8 Deluxe will be Mario Kart 8 plus a battle mode plus all the DLC. It'll launch on April 28th for likely full price. Yeah, and cool. So for you, that's fine because you didn't buy it. So, hey, that's another game you can play. Plus, it's got the good stuff that I missed out on because Nintendo was really dumb and didn't finish the game and they launched it to us. Um, so that, that makes me sad that, yeah, I guess that makes me a little sad as yeah. well, because I feel like I spent that money, um, and played it, but now I have to buy that money, play it again, and then get the extra features. But I guess that was the risk of buying a Wii, Wii U. All right. What other games were there? Okay. So they announced a few others. They announced Xenoblade 2, Fire Emblem. Octopath Traveler, Skyrim, FIFA, Minecraft, some LEGO game, some Sonic game, uh, just dates. Uh, the last four or five that I mentioned, they just had a picture of. They didn't like specifically announce um, them. And all these games, even the ones they talked about, even like Skyrim, Xenoblade, Fire Emblem, they did not say when they are coming. Which, oh, but surprised. Mario. I forgot Price. Mario. Yeah, Mario. With the exception of Mario, you're right. Every other game just said soon. Which, uh, Minecraft Mojang, Mojang just tweeted, I think, uh, that yes, it's, it's announced for the, for the Switch. Which doesn't, I don't care, I'm not, who doesn't own Minecraft yet? And if you already own Minecraft, why would you buy it again on the Switch? <laughs> but there's people out there that will, so, they and won't have anything special, because all the Minecraft versions are going to become the same, so. Yeah, and, uh, I'm going to. Let's talk about the Mario for a bit. Yes. <laughs> the new Super Mario. Because we don't Mario. care about They're the other finally... third party. Yeah. So they said it's coming out in the holiday season. And it's finally like a 3D open world kind of Mario game. The first we've had since really more Super Mario Sunshine, um, which I loved that game. Uh, we, they had Super Mario Galaxy, but Sunshine was the, the big one, at least for me. Uh, it looks okay. Kind of cool. The, it really confused me about him being in the real world. They had a world where he's in the city and i was worried at first because that's what they showed like oh is it just gonna be mario in the city there's actual humans there um this is kind of like a 3d spider-man mario across the city that's not really mario that's, but then that's what i said when he was like hopping around jumping on the walls and the swinging around i was like is this just mario spider-man with humans it was very creepy to me and he just seemed very out of place Oh, yeah, but then it had him going to some other worlds, like a forest, a weird cartoony one and stuff, um, and it's called Super Mario Odyssey, so he's going on a journey, uh, which I guess is cool. The one cool thing I did notice is that you're throwing your cap, and it looks like you can jump on it, you can hit people with it, so um, that's the whole ability, but we didn't get anything, I don't think I saw, like, the fire flower, I don't think I saw, like, the one-up mushroom or anything like that. Yeah, um... When I saw the original quick little peek, and it looked like Mario was running around a Mexican town celebrating Day of the Dead, um, I did have a little bit of a concern that the entire game was going to be just traveling to real-world places, because that was what some of the rumors were. You're going to like travel to real-world places as Mario, and those are going to be the levels. Um, and then when I started seeing the start of that trailer, I got really concerned because that's what I thought it was all going to be and I was like okay this is ridiculous but after seeing some more of that like you said seeing the other worlds um it did look pretty cool especially all the ones that except for the city um I don't I think it lacks I just don't think it's like super creative um I agree and another big qualm with that that 
and to add to like the lack of creativeness, like Galaxy was cool, but Sunshine it was focused in that one town, in that one city, and yeah. you want to unlock new parts of that. And it had it was grounded in the setting, and the setting had a lot of development and a lot of like cool hidden areas to explore. That's why I love love that game so much because it was like that open world. Yeah, but I mean, and sixty four was, was the same way. Yeah, and it and then unlike the other Mario games, you're going around the one level, and there's some secrets to it. And there's like a secret hidden place, but if he's if it's Odyssey and he's traveling to a lot of different areas, you're never gonna get attached to that setting. You're, there's never gonna be a lot of development to that setting. You know, the yeah. game setting is gonna be very straightforward and very in one line. The cool thing about Sunshine is like a whole map. Yeah, I, and that had me worried. I, I want to see more. Um, the trailer made me want to see more, but it didn't make me go, "Oh my god, I want it now." Um, yeah, it was. Uh, I want to see more, and I I know I want I want to see some more of that before I judge too much on it. But I was just a little con- uncomfortable seeing him in the human world, and I was like, am I just gonna travel like semi real world places the whole time? Um, but I I don't know. It it it's got potential. I'll have to watch the trailer. By the way, here on YouTube now, it looks like Nintendo has published essentially trailers for all of the games that they talked about that might show a little bit more detail and are a little bit longer. Uh, in addition to the Switch presentation that you can go watch yourself if you want to see the full thing. Um, but it appears to be launching some more trailers. So there is the Mario Odyssey trailer and the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that you can go back in here and, and watch um, if you want to see them. Um, that's not launching until the holiday season. Uh, which is also pretty lame. That should be a launch game. I th- we thought that was going to be a launch game. Um but I guess it's a holiday season game, so, you know, more waiting for that one. Yeah. Um, any other games you want to comment on? Yeah, that's all of them. Skyrim will be cool. That's still, like, a huge selling game. For Bethesda, yeah, like, Bethesda. I've never played it and bought it, so, you know, I, that's something I'm still in the market for potentially getting. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm a little confused by that because there was Xenoblade Chronicles and then Xenoblade X for the Wii U. So Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Um, I I've I've like watched someone do a, a full let's play of Xenoblade Chronicles. The storyline and the attachment to that game, the music, the visuals were fantastic. The gameplay is a little complicated and a little much for me, as you guys can probably imagine. Uh, but I never touched Xenoblade X, so I don't really know. But of all of the third-party games talked about, with the exception of Skyrim, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was the only one that really like made me look. The rest of them were very Japanese or series I'm not really into. I think I did see a Bomberman. Yes, which, we did see a quick Bomberman clip. They that hadn't it. really done much since uh, GameCube. I remember playing that with uh, Preston523 a handful of times, so as a, as back as a kid. But uh, yeah... A pretty, they Nintendo tweeted that they said there's 80 games currently in development. Uh, but yes. to me, that means nothing because how many games are launching like when I get the system? <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, any other thoughts, impressions, game things you want to talk about? Um, that's really it. They're coming out with the FIFA. That's oh, the, yeah, the FIFA they, was the other I one. About that. that was the sports game they talked about from EA. So if you're interested in that, that's pretty cool. And that'll have some really cool features, I bet, with the new Switch controllers, too. Yeah, probably. Graphics will look good. Um, so, yeah, do you have anything else on your list that you would like to talk about? Yeah, that's it for the games. I mean, again, uh, there wasn't much of the games. That's my yeah. biggest motivation about this they mentioned a little bit about a, a handful of games third party stuff um do you we'll start with this question are you going to buy the nintendo switch at launch i am not uh do you what's the chance that you're going to buy the nintendo switch before christmas of 2017 it's possible like and then greater than 50 percent i'll go around 50 percent um okay yeah um you know the, what? It'll if I get it, it'll probably be winter break, Christmas time. If I or after or after, I don't think I'll get it before then. Um, what I was really looking for tonight was a Pikmin or Animal Crossing announcement. Um, 
I, I, I was not expecting Animal Crossing because we just had a New Leaf update. That told to me that the team had worked on that, and there's not going to be Animal Crossing for a couple of years, which made me very sad. Um, I don't want a freaking New Leaf update. I wanted this. I wanted the game, a new game to play. Uh, but Pikmin, Miyamoto, I think, had said there's a new Pikmin being worked on, and we got we were expecting it to be... He was like, it's almost near completion, and we assumed it was going to be for Switch. But back a while ago, they launched... They, talked about some 2D side-scroller Pikmin adventure for the 3DS, which we haven't heard about since then, speaking of which. And we got no confirmation if that was the game yeah. he was talking about or not, but I'm starting to get my fears realized that that might have been the game, and that makes me very sad because that was a spin-off. I wanted the the beautiful... Because Pikmin 3, I personally think, was the best game for the Wii U. That was the reason I bought the Wii U eventually, because I wanted to play that. Um, oh, but... Um, keep going, keep going. So... I don't. I think there's a greater than 50% chance I buy it at launch day, but that's because I want Breath of the Wild, because uh, I'm the fanboy. I want that. I just want to see the new system, and I want to play that game and wander around the wilderness and listen to the music. Uh, that's basically all I want to do in that game. So there's, I'd probably give it about a, like a 60 over 40 chance that I get it at launch, but if I don't buy it at launch, either because of I don't want to spend the money or there's no other games launched between or like really talked about than what they talked about tonight for Christmas, then there won't be any chance I'll buy it until probably Christmas or, you know, when that Mario game comes out, if it's buyable. And, you know, if, if, that, if I see that and I'm like, okay, I want to play that. Um, because otherwise, all the other games that I would be looking for, I just didn't see them, you know? Yeah, and I found a news update, and I'm looking at the source, and it's in Japanese, so I can't really read it. But the confirmed launch games... Um, are Zelda Breath of the Wind, 1-2 Switch, um, and then the rest of them are, most of them are not actually released to us in uh, North America. There's going to be Japan. Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2. Okay. Uh, I don't even want to try to pronounce probably be on the, it. probably be virtual console. Yeah, and then there's a bunch of Japanese. Nobagu no Yobu, uh, I Am Satsuna, Poyo Poyo, Tetris X, Desega okay, Tetris. 5. Boyo, and Super yeah, Bobberman is apparently a release game. Okay, so those are very small Japanese or, or you know mini games. Those are eShop games. Those are Nintendo Virtual Console games, I think. I mean, maybe they're going to put them on cartridges or discs or whatever. But um, that's a pretty crappy lineup. Um, at least, what so what they've got two games on cartridge launching probably, and five games on Virtual Console. Four games. Yeah. Uh, five games there. So. And I apologize I for my pronunciation. I don't know. That makes me a little uneasy. If it wasn't, if there was no Breath of the Wild, then I would definitely not buy it until I saw like that Mario game was amazing for Christmas. But I might still get it because of that. Um, I, that's that's a little depressing. Um, all right. Oh, uh, NBA 2K18 and Project Sonic. Um, are expected to come out not not launch games but those are also confirmed okay um the one game i will buy the system for is ukulele i've told you about ukulele right that's the banjo kazooie like spiritual successor to it the team that made banjo kazooie's made that game oh and yes I, i've followed a bit of that yes i backed that project on kickstarter you know a year or two ago and I got my toy box and played it. I, you can go check out those videos on my channel, just like messing with the controls and kind of, it was just like a, a 3D world to bounce around in. And it was originally supposed to launch with the Wii U, and that game is launching very soon, within the next couple of months, on PC, oh. PlayStation, and Xbox. And Yeah, and I, I'm excited for that game. Yes, and I was going to get it on Wii U, but they canceled the one on Wii U because of the Switch announcement, and they said they're going to try to make it on Switch, but they have no confirmation of that happening yet. Uh, when they have a confirmation of a yes or no on Switch, um, I'll either be able to get a refund, I'll be able to get the PC version, um, or I'll be able to get the Switch version. And the only thing I'm going to do is the refund or the Switch version. If this, if that game does not come to the Switch, and in a reasonable time after the other systems, um, I will be very devastated because that has been that would be if whatever year that comes out of that will be my game of the year if it's as amazing as it looks like it's going to be compared to Banjo Kazooie. Um, I'd be very upset if that didn't come out. So, uh, oh, uh, additionally, the Binding of Isaac after Birth Plus is coming 
to the Nintendo Switch also. There's not a release of that, but that is confirmed. Uh, that's a pretty cool game. Yeah, that that's a, I've heard of that game before. Um, it says the Nintendo Switch online service subscription will include a free NES or Super Nintendo game per month with online play enabled. I don't really know what that means. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping that game comes out on Switch and actually gets in the works. Um, when every game, if I don't have a Switch yet and that game comes out and I can get, I can download it because I backed that project, then I will buy a Switch for that. Um, that's one of the games, that, an Animal Crossing, a Pikmin, um, and if that Mario is amazing, and Breath of the Wild, I guess are like my, I will buy the system for them. I was also very surprised there wasn't a Smash Brothers. I was too. What I was almost, I would have almost bet a lot of money on was that the 3DS version and the Wii U version were going to be combined into one deluxe version and launched. On yeah, the Wii, on the you Switch. thought they could have ported that pretty easily. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that, that wasn't. Well, do you so. have any final thoughts on this? Uh, yes, I guess we'll each, we can each say our final thoughts. So I'll, I guess I'll say mine, then you can go to yours. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I went into this with not really knowing what to expect, um, but I went to high expectations that Nintendo was going to sell this system to me on launch day. Um, I was expecting that, at least, because I was like, if they don't, then this is going to be a failure. And this, the hardware looks fantastic. I would like to little, know a little bit more about the details of it. Um, I am not happy about having to pay for online, and I am not happy about the game lineup and the time frame for them. Very disappointed on the launches for that. There were no surprises that were really that special, except for maybe Xenoblade 2. Um, so, long and short, um, even though I didn't go in expecting very much, I came out, honestly, a little, um, a little let down by it. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to get it to launch. If Breath of the Wild continues to amaze me, I will, but otherwise it's going to be a, a while before I buy that. So, those are my thoughts. If you guys have your thoughts, let me know what you think of that down in the comments. Go ahead, skate him. Okay, uh... I'm pretty similar. Uh, when the whole presentation, I thought the hardware blew me away, and I think that's really interesting. It really, I found it interesting before, but I think they did a really good job presenting it, even if it isn't um, up to the par they said it is. That, I think the hardware is really cool, and how you can take it wherever you want to, um, and how they've upgraded um, the controllers and everything, that it comes with two controllers to play with two player and everything. Uh, the only reservation I have on that is, as you mentioned, the controller, the actual Joypod itself seems a little small when you're handling with just one of them. Uh, and then in addition to that, I think it's a really cool system, the console itself, but I'm not going to get it at launch date because it does not have the games to back it up. Um, Zelda is really cool. I've never gotten too into Zelda. Um, and the games are coming but they're not there at launch. Um, and I do really want to get the Breath of the Wild game. I really want to play that, but I can wait on that. I can be patient with that for other games to come out. I'm I'm interested for an Animal Crossing game, a Super Smash Brothers game, Mario Kart. I want to get play Pikmin. I want to play Super Mario. And those aren't there yet. And I can wait to get the console when they are. I'm not, I don't need to get it right away. And that's my thoughts on it. it <laughs> the hardware is there, the software is in it, and I'll wait till that comes up. But I, I definitely think it's really cool. If you're a hardcore Zelda player and you really want that game, definitely get it. Um, uh, okay, so you, my, my thoughts. You, you answered one of the questions I was going to ask. was like, what games would make you buy it when they come out or at launch? And you kind of answered that, uh, which is basically none of the games coming out in the next year. <laughs> um, I assume we're going to find out some more about this at E3, at least for the game lineup. Uh, they'll, they'll probably use E3 as a time to announce games that'll come out, you know, in one to two years, which maybe we'll hear, like, a, you know, some of the other games you mentioned. Um, I was going to ask you a question. Um, oh, I know this is going long, but had you played any of the Zelda games, Legend of Zelda, like, main series games before? I had not. I played it through a good amount of Skyward Sword when you came over for uh, New Year's one year, and we played that for like six hours straight. Oh yeah, I, I brought it over, because I, I got that game for Christmas. And you're right, I did about the same. I've 
I think I got to like the final dungeon on that, but I never beat it, and I've never gone back to it. Um, and the only reason I got into that game was the same thing. The visuals, the music, and like running around like picked it up to me, but then I never really got into it, and that's the exact same reason I, I'm looking to like this game. But yeah, I've got... Um, I've I seen think, some Majora's Mask and some I have a, I have Time. That. I have but that, I but I've never played it. I have Majora's Mask, but I've never. I have a digital copy, but I got for free from Club Nintendo, and I've never played it. So, you know, it's, you know, I'm. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Um, tomorrow, I think I just saw Nintendo at 9 a.m. Tomorrow is going to have like a couple hours stream of the Treehouse crew, and they're essentially going to show off in more detail the games and talk more about the games coming for North America. So I'll be, you'll, we'll get lots of news tomorrow. This was, you know, just the 45-minute hour conference. So we'll see. We'll see what comes to it. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching our overview and review of this. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, our content is mostly Minecraft at the moment. Some Stardew Valley, I think, for both of us. But if you're interested in either of those, please check out our channels. Yeah, I enjoyed this. I'm interested in doing something similar again. I, I do too. We'll, we'll do some more. More news comes out or any other thing that happens. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.